Welcome to U.S. Immigration TV. For anyone who's had a pending petition or application, I know that the delays in processing their case at USCIS can be extremely frustrating and they can cause a tremendous amount of disruption as well as unnecessary separation of family members. If this applies to you, you're not alone. Now, the USCIS does have a process or procedure for requesting that your case can be expedited. Now, in this video, I will discuss what types of cases could be eligible for expedited treatment and how to go about making the request to expedite. So, make sure to watch this video until the end and, of course, like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And for my part, I, I truly feel for the people who did everything within their power to legalize their status, to achieve their American dream, but their case just seems to be stagnating, whether it's getting a petition approved, a, a, an adjustment granted, or even getting a work authorization renewed. Now, how can you possibly get your case expedited? Well, first, the USCIS will consider expedite requests, but only if they meet certain criteria or circumstances. Number one, severe financial loss to a company or to a person. However, according to the USCIS website, the need for urgent action cannot be the result of the person failing to timely request the benefit or to respond to a request for evidence. For example, did you wait until the last minute to file for an immigration benefit or an extension? Also, you have to document exactly what is the loss and that the person requesting the expedite cannot, and I quote, withstand the temporary financial loss that is the natural result of normal processing times, close quote. In other words, everyone under petition is suffering in some manner as well as perhaps the company waiting for them to be able to begin working, uh, you know, if it's an employment-based case. Maybe the person holds a key position in a company and the company may go out of business unless the case is approved immediately. But it can't be a situation like we need a caregiver in our care home right away. Uh, USCIS may believe that's just a normal consequence of temporary delays. Number two, emergencies and urgent humanitarian reasons. And again, it's up to the discretion of the USCIS officer if what you are facing constitutes truly an emergency or urgent humanitarian reason. You know, perhaps maybe uh, the petitioner is extremely sickly on his or her deathbed. If they pass away, of course, the petition will be dead unless you can pursue humanitarian revalidation. But again, that is another ground to expedite. Number three, U.S. government interests. Now, this could include government agencies such as the Department of Defense, Department of Labor, Homeland Security, or if the case involves other public safety or national security interests. Finally, number four, clear USCIS error. Maybe they had denied a case uh, and it's clear that the denial was an error. Uh, seeking reconsideration could possibly take months. Maybe they can expedite. However, I want to caution you that the USCIS notes that even if your situation fits one of these categories, it may not warrant or deserve expedited processing. For example, if the person wants to expedite a work authorization or student status, that standing alone, and I quote, without any evidence of other compelling factors does not warrant expedited treatment. And this is likely, I guess, because everyone wants their work authorization issued or the work authorization renewed. Therefore, everyone would claim they're entitled to an expedite request. Now, once an expedite request is submitted to USCIS, it may ask for additional evidence and documents to support the expedited processing or your dire situation. Also, if you are lucky enough to get the expedite request approved, it does not mean that your actual case is being approved. All it means 
is that the USCIS will take your case out of order and put it at the front of the line and issue a decision that is faster than their processing times. So in other words, you could possibly get the expedite request approved, but they could still deny your petition. But I do want to give you a word of caution and not get your hopes up too high. USCIS is extremely reluctant to grant expedite requests because everyone has their own reason or justification for wanting their case approved faster. And in most cases, you know, really the USCIS thinks it's unfair to move anyone, let's say to the front of the line, just because they came up with a better excuse or reason concerning their case. You need to demonstrate and fully document some extremely critical out of the ordinary emergency to even have a chance. And of course, I would not guarantee anyone that just because they make their expedite request or they may think they have a valid justification uh, that USCIS is going to grant or approve it. But if you truly have a case or a situation that meets one of these listed criteria or factors, you may want to consult with an attorney who can fully evaluate your case or situation. And if you do meet the requirements, the attorney can help you package and document the expedite request, provided you meet all other eligibility requirements and that there are no other issues or problems in your case. And of course, your priority date is current and the visa is available and the like. Now, I hope you have found this video helpful and informative, especially if you or someone you know has a true emergency warranting an expedite request. So therefore, make sure that you like, share, and most importantly, right now, subscribe to this channel. So you'll be kept informed on the latest immigration news and developments and tips that you may find help for you or someone you know. I'm Michael Gerfinkel and thanks for watching U.S. Immigration TV.